good day and welcome and happy Easter. May God's blessings in Christ be with you this Easter day and with you and your families throughout the world. Happy Easter as we celebrate the great good news that Christ has risen and has risen for us. And I invite you now to share with me on this Easter our call to worship. Early on Sunday morning, the women came to the tomb taking the spices they prepared. They found the stone covering, the entrance had been rolled aside. So they went in, but they couldn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. Two men appeared and asked, why are you looking in a tomb for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He has risen from the dead. From Luke's Gospel, the 24th chapter. On this day of celebration, we light a candle, the Christ candle, the Shalom candle, that tells us of Christ's presence and peace, that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. We light this candle as sign and symbol of the resurrection of our Lord. And I invite you now, as we do it, to share with me the shalom of Christ. Shalom. Shalom in Christ. The shalom that brings us peace, well-being, and faring well. Shalom. Amen. I invite you now to share with me this day, this Easter, our prayer preparation. Let us pray together. Oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me, dear Heavenly Father, I am blessed with a love and joy so strong. It empowers me down to my soul. What a friend we have in Jesus. He takes away the sins of the world. He is there for you, and he is there for me. With unconditional love. His arms outstretch, covering me with hope, strength, goodness, and mercy. What a mighty God we serve. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. So praise him in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Our scripture lesson for this Easter service meditation is from Matthew's Gospel, the 29th chapter. It is a simple statement. Jesus met them and said greetings. May God add blessing to the reading of this word and to those who hear this word and transform it from written and spoken word into living word in their hearts and minds and spirits. That simple statement, greetings, is one of the most important statements in the Christian faith, and most folks probably don't realize it. I suspect that on most Easter Sundays, this is not the major text for the Sunday meditation or service. But without this statement, we would not be here this day. Because this is the first word the risen Jesus uttered when he arose from the dead and came back to life. And what makes it even more interesting is who Christ shared that word with. As we know the story, on that first Easter Sunday, <clears throat> women came to the tomb, particularly Mary Magdalene, and found the tomb empty. And as the texts say, they are told that Jesus has written, risen. When Jesus arose and came before them, he said, when we use the word in English, greetings. In some translations in English, hail. But he used a Hebrew word. A word that had multiple meanings and depth to it. Jesus said to the women gathered to take care of his body, Shalom. Shalom. That word means welcome. This is a new day for us. Easter is the beginning of a new day and a new time in our faith. Welcome. It also means, has a meaning for well-being. When I say shalom, it is wishing you well. The shalom of Christ came that day to the women there. Shalom. I wish you well. So I'm sure they were more than surprised and dismayed. It also meant well-being mind, body, and spirit. It also meant shalom, peace. Peace in your life. Peace in our lives. Shalom was also a way of saying uh, going forth, of faring well. That single word changed our understanding of faith. Of the risen Lord. We're here this day because Jesus came back from the grave, from death, to welcome us, to say hello to us, to say to us farewell this day, have peace of body, mind, and spirit. And in that shalom, he gave the women their commission. Realize the other part of the Easter story. <clears throat> the first people to see the risen Savior were not the apostles, Peter and John and the rest. They were literally in hiding, afraid, uncertain. The women had the courage to go to take care of the body of Jesus. And in going there that day, they were making a journey that had risk to it for themselves. But Jesus greets them. Shalom, I wish you well. Shalom, I give you peace. Shalom, I send you forth to tell the good news. I am risen and I will see the rest of them, the apostles, later. I'm giving you the commission. These were the first preachers 
of the gospel, the first ministers of the gospel, the first sharers of the gospel, who said long ago, he is risen, he is risen indeed for us. And this day, on this Easter, may the shalom of Jesus greet you with welcome. May the shalom of Jesus give you peace, courage, and strength to go forward in your life, whatever may come. The shalom means to farewell, to take care, to be well. The shalom means I will be with you again. I will see you again. So on this Easter Sunday, may the greeting of Christ be yours. Shalom. Shalom in Christ. Amen. shalom to lift up our prayers for a world that needs peace a world that needs well-being a world that needs to fare well to lift up those who are hurting from this disease of COVID for the tragedy in the Ukraine for those who are hungry and thirsting and alone this day to pray for them and to pray for our own needs and those of our friends and families and our congregation that the shalom of Christ be with us. Let us pray. Gracious God, loving God, caring God, you who sent your Messiah, your Christ, our Savior into the world to share with us and give us the good news of help, hope, and healing that Jesus this day, our risen Savior, 
comes to us with words of greeting, words of hope for each of us. That Christ's peace be with all who are ill. Christ's peace be in Ukraine to bring the end to the violence, the hatred, the death, to bring out of it life and hope. To be this day with each of us gathered as we lift up our prayers to you, that Christ's welcome gives us strength, Christ's peace gives us courage, Christ inviting us to farewell, the strength to go forward each and every day, and to know we are never alone, that Christ has come, he has risen for us, and he welcomes us cares for us and keeps us. Gracious God, in Christ's blessing, be our journey forward. We thank you, O oh God, for this day and this time of faith, hope, and certainty in the good news. Christ, your Son, our Savior, is with us, and that the breath of his being empowers us Holy Spirit. Gracious God, keep us. Loving Savior, walk with us. Holy Spirit, empower us this day and every day that we have peace, courage, well-being. All this we ask in Christ's name. Amen. As we say farewell, shalom this day, and farewell. Have a happy and blessed Easter to all who are viewing this video throughout the world. We are grateful for your sharing and participation in our times together. May God's grace be with you, the presence and peace of Christ be with you and guide you, and the Holy Spirit's presence be within you. Go in peace, go in love, happy Easter. And I invite you now to share with me our benediction for this day. Christ has opened paradise. Go in peace. Amen.